Hello everyone, this is Dan B and today I'm going to show you how you test your USB and plus adapters using Simulant. If you recently purchased a USB adapter on the internet and you're experiencing problems to pair your sensors with your favorite training apps, then you want to see this video, especially if your AMP Plus adapters are generic. A few years ago, I created an application to connect my unsupported Proform indoor bike to Swift. Then, one day I decided to publish that program on the internet and, to my surprise, the program went viral among users of the same bike model. Through the years, and as a result of the interaction with those users, I had to develop an effective way to test Unplus related problems. And from that experience, I can't think of a better application than Simulant. The thing is, I've never seen as many users experiencing Unplus problems as in these days. The most common problems are Unplus adapters which are dead on arrival. Maybe it has to do with the increased demand of Unplus adapters as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which forced most of us to stay at home. That said, the purpose of this guide is to help you check if your Unplus adapters are good. The first thing you're going to do is download Simulant. Simulant is, a, is an official Unplus testing tool. You can download this software from thisisant.com. Thisisant.com is the official Unplus webpage. Please note that in order to access the software tools uh, on this webpage, you're going to have to create a user account. You can sign up for free, and uh, the account is going to take probably a day or two before it gets activated. This is not automatic. Once the account is activated, you're going to have to upgrade it to Unplus Adopter account, which is also free. That account level will give you access to the software tools and the forums, among other things. Once your account is confirmed, you want to sign in and go to Developer Software Tools. That's where you'll find your Simulant download link. Once you find the link, click on it and wait till the download is complete. Once the download is complete, unzip the contents of the file into a new folder. Then just search for the simulantplus.exe file and run the program. Once the application is up, on your top left you will find the list of your connected Unplus devices. Click on the Add Simulator button and select a device profile from the drop-down list. In this case, I'm going to use FEC Bike Trainer profile. As soon as you click OK, you will be presented with two new columns inside the application. In the middle, you will find a Properties column. You don't need to change anything there. And on the right of the application, there is an Output column with three tabs in it. Events, Unplus Verification, and Ant Messages. For this test, you want to look at Events and Ant Messages window. Finally, look for the Turn On button on the Action section of the app. As soon as you click it on the Events window, you will find a message saying Broadcasting. The next thing you want to check is the Ant Messages tab. If you see a bunch of messages rolling up there, that means the Ant Plus adapter is working properly. If the window remains empty though, that means your Ant Plus adapters are bad. Hit the Turn Off button to stop the process. 
In this case, I have two AMP Plus adapter connected because that's what I need in order to run my program. Most users will only have a single AMP Plus adapter in the list. Finally, make sure that you close this program before running Swift. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you want to learn more about the application I use to connect my Proform bike to Swift, please head on to my blog. Thanks a lot for watching and ride on.